There's definitely a change in the type of fishery. It's gone more to, it's harder every day to go and get fish, to go get your walleyes and perch. We started out in 05 with numbers around 70 million walleyes, and now we're in the low 20 millions. Paul Pachowski is a charter boat captain and vice president of the Lake Erie Charter Boat Association. He is very concerned about the toxic blue-green algae now plaguing Lake Erie. As the water quality goes down, uh, it favors rough species of fish such as white perch, sheephead, catfish. You could see the algae on satellite during peak algae bloom season this summer. The water even had a green tint at Mommy Bay. Experts say the algae is sucking up oxygen in the lake, important for those high oxygen fish like walleye. That combined with poor spring weather for recruitment, and Pachowski says charter boat business is way down. In the last 10 years, he says nearly half of Lake Erie charter boats have gone out of business. There's not the fish out there. It's, it's not as uh, easy of, of a trip as it used to be. You have to work for them. Pachowski says he is worried about Lake Erie's future. Charter boat captains continue to meet with government and environmental leaders looking for a solution. Colleen Wells, WTOL 11. So here we have some pictures of what we call algal blooms, and they're made from algae, which are photosynthetic uh, microorganisms. And you can see there are red ones and green ones. We're going to focus more on the green algae blooms or algal blooms because the red ones sort of kill things due to toxins that they produce. Whereas the process we're talking about today, eutrophication, um, that's caused more by the lack of oxygen causing suffocation. So eutrophication is this process. Basically fertilizers from our fields, our industrial farming, will contain excess nitrogen and phosphorus, other words, the building blocks um, for life. And uh, we also have phosphate that can be running off from soaps or untreated sewage from homes. And all of that will run off and, you know, during rain, and that can collect in the still bodies of water, for example, ponds and lakes. So when that happens, that causes sort of an increase or a bloom in plant life and algae. Now, the problem happens when they die, because you've had a whole bunch of these excess um, plants and algae. When they die, aerobic decomposition, which requires oxygen, will cause the oxygen levels to lower. And so when that happens, fish that require higher levels of oxygen will now die due to asphyxiation, which means a lack of oxygen. So that, that is the entire process of eutrophication. 